Welcome to Fujiwing YouTube channel. This video is a complementary to the media story Secure Angle 11 with Identity Server 4 Admin UI. I will go over the steps described in part 2 configuring JWT Identity Token for authentication. I will log in the admin UI and set up a client app. Config the client with URI redirect, course, specify claims such as email, open ID, roles, and profile. In the part one of the tutorial, I cloned the token project.admin UI from GitHub to local. I also cloned the sample Angular app uh, to local as well. And within the Angular application, uh, under the folder source app core and off dash config, it has settings to connect to the um, identity server. For example, issuer client ID, response type, redirect URI, uh, post login redirect URI, scope. So now I'm going to log into the um, identity server admin UI and set up these uh, parameters. Here's the login screen for the uh, admin UI. Notice at the uh, address bar here, it have local host 44310. That is the equivalent of the uh, setting on line number four issuer, uh, HTTPS local host 44310. Let me click on login. And uh, this is the dashboard for admin UI. Uh, there are uh, clients, identity resources, API resource, and so on. Let me go ahead and click on the, um, I'll go into the clients here. If you want to add a new, register a new client application, you can click on add client here. I already set up one uh, client ID called employee profile. So let's go in and take a look at it. Uh, just a, a quick cross reference here, client ID. That is matching with line number six, uh, employee profile here in Angular application. Uh, click on the basics tab right here. There's some setting here to require PKCE, uh, allow scope, row, open ID, email profile. Here you have the uh, respond type code for PKCE. And then down here you have the scope, open ID, profile, email, roles. Scroll down a little bit on the client um, uh, in the admin UI here. You can see redirect URIs. That is uh, for line number eight, redirect URI here. On the authentication logout, there's a setting down here called post logout redirect URIs. And that is for this uh, setting on line number nine here. Okay, there's one more screen I want to show is the token tab right here. You just scroll down. Uh, if uh, and this have the uh, course setting right here, uh, I do sometimes forget setting this. And uh, typically, with uh, not um, setting up the course right here, uh, the Angular application gonna get an uh, an errors about course uh, uh, not authorized. And that is it for the basic setting uh, to connect Angular through the identity server 4 using the admin UI um, screen. Here's come the fun part. 
try to log in to the identity server 4 from angular application so i'm running the assemble angular apps on port 4200 here so i'll click on login with the uh, authentication uh, settings in Angular, it's going to redirect me to the um, identity server 4 to log in. I already uh, have the admin and password here. Click on login. After successfully login, it redirects me back to the uh, Angular application. So let's take a look at uh, the information uh, display on in this sample apps right here. Uh, here is uh, have some variables to kind of dump it out and displaying it. But the one I want you to take a look at it is the identity claims. Uh, so there are all these um, uh, variables and in, uh, values in the claims are listed out here and display. Uh, within Angular code, we could take a good use of some of these like uh, uh, for example, it have the prefer username here. Uh, could take that information and display on the um, like a uh, header, for example. Uh, there's some email address here that could be used to for uh, user communication. Now here are the um, two uh, components of uh, OIDC uh, JWT. One is called the access token. And the other one is the ID uh, token. Let me uh, cut and paste this uh, string of the ID token here. And uh, I'm going to go to the uh, jwt.io website where I can post, uh, cut and paste the encode uh, ID token here. And on the right hand side, it will show the decode uh, data. So you can see this is the uh, content of the ID token. And uh, for me, when I look at this, uh, it's uh, help to understand that the ID token uh, is like a, uh, for uh, authentication. The user has successfully logged in. Let's take a look at the access token. Uh, so the access token is uh, going to be passed to the back end. Uh, if you have an API resource, uh, REST API somewhere, uh, you can uh, uh, send the access token to the header uh, of the Angular apps. And um, let's take a look at see what inside the access token here. Cut and paste. And um, this is the decode of the access token. Notice that what's missing here is that it does not have uh, the user roles listed here. Uh, so uh, in the next uh, video, part three of the tutorial, I will then uh, show you the step to configure so that if uh, the user have assigned to any roles, then we want to have the roles show up in here. Uh, this concludes the part two uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time.